once again, mga kalak leader naman po. Ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon, this is uh, LDM2 Lock Leader Practicum Portfolio. So, nung nakaraan po ay pinag-usapan po natin ang uh, Practicum Portfolio for Teachers. So, isa na naman po. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. This is Maestro Sani. Para sa LDM2 Lock Portfolio, Lock Leader Practicum Portfolio. lock leader we have to make sure uh, that we accomplish our lock leader practicum portfolio para po sa mga hindi pa nakapagsubscribe sa aking youtube channel please do subscribe po and click the notification bell para manotify po kayo sa mga susunod pang uh, videos na aking i-upload Ayan. Mga maraming salamat po sa mga sumusuporta sa aking YouTube channel. To start with, so we have to start with the required artifacts. And we have here the table of contents. So the required artifacts include... Uh, providing technical assistance to colleagues about giving feedback to learners. Next is COT rating sheets or classroom observation tool rating sheet. Providing feedback to colleagues with the development and use of learning resources. Another is lesson plans or WHLPs. And professional engagement with colleagues. And the last one is uh, engaging key stakeholders in the technical learning process, in the teaching learning process. And reflective, we have the reflective summary. So we have providing technical assistance to colleagues about giving feedback to learners. So we have the LDM artifacts uh, in giving, in providing technical assistance. So we may include any performance monitoring and coaching form or photo documentation to show proof of coaching and mentoring colleagues about giving feedback to learners. Then we have also to uh, write annotations that highlights the strategies we shared with our colleagues on providing feedback to learners' performance output. So the PPST strand is 5.3 feedback to improve learning. So this is the artifact. So I have here the technical assistance or the coaching and mentoring form. So it was done on January 15 critical incidents description so participated in the lock session on DepEd order number 31 series of 2020 otherwise known as the official guidelines for assessment in the new normal so yun po yung gina, ginawa naming lock sessions then we have the output modified summative test and performance task impact on job or action taken strategies in crafting summative assessment performance tasks and computation of grades learned are applied in class. So, yun. So, signature of the ratee and the rater. So, yun po. So, ito po yung uh, lock session. Kailangan lang pong i- nakalagay po kasi. Kailangan i-blur yung identity ng mga participants. So, kaya nakablur po siya but uh, the lock session is all about the interim guidelines for assessment and grading in the new normal so that is DEPED 31 number 31 series of 2020 so yan po yung pictorial then another is on June 14, 2021 the lock session on DEPED order number 18 naman series 2021 we have the interim guidelines on giving awards and recognitions. 
in the light of basic education learning continuity plan so ito na po yung pagtatapos so we need to uh, again uh, coach or mentor our co-teachers pagdating po sa finalization of uh, the grades in preparation for the giving of awards and recognition so especially of the grade 6 teachers so competition of grades of each candidates and check on their portfolio written and performance tasks outputs and supporting documents we have also the class records reports cards and other school forms then action taken guidelines stipulated in debit order number 18 and checking learned are applied in grade 6 learners so ayan po so we have to apply what is stipulated in debit order number 18 series 2021 so this is again the the photo kaya lang nakablur pa rin po siya to protect data privacy of the participants. Then we have here the annotation. As master teacher or luck leader, we need to guide and assist our co-teachers in about the different about the different guidelines we usually do in the form of coaching and mentoring. The MOB is presented show how the luck leader coach and mentor the teachers in the different DepEd issuances such as DepEd Order Number 31 and DepEd Order Number 18 series of 2021. So our work as a lock leader and as master teacher as well. So next artifact is the COT rating sheet or the classroom observation rating sheet. So, we may include photo documentation of the portion of, of lesson plan about teaching strategies used by colleagues to respond to the need of the learners in difficult circumstances. We may include any performance monitoring, coaching, or photo documentation to show qualitative feedback to learning resources developed by colleagues. And we have to make annotations again. So, the PPST strand is 3.4 and 4.5, teaching and learning resource including ICT. So, this is the sample of uh, COT rating sheet. So, this is an inter-observation agreement form for two, two to three observers. So, ayan po. Then, ito po yung uh, photo documentation, the, the, the teacher, the strategies made by the teachers. So, as we can see, uh, it's use Google Classroom, Quizzes, also use Padlet, and the likes. Uh, so, using uh, positive use of ICT. Then the annotation them always presented showed how the lock leader undertaken the CO or classroom observation and gave technical assistance to the teacher emphasizing how to properly select, organize, develop, and use the learning resource. So as lock leader, we have to make sure that our or as um, CO provider, we have to make sure that our co-teachers uh, used or properly select. Uh, the learning resources appropriate to the level of the learners. Yan po. The next lesson plans, TLL, WHLP. So I have selected since we are in the new normal and we are, are required to use the WHLP. So we may include two to three lesson plans or WHLP. The PPST strands 4.2 and 5.1 design, selection, organization, and utilization of assessment strategies. Ayan po. So this is our WHLP 
uh, I presented my own WHLP then the other two is from uh, the teachers which I I extended my uh, classroom observation so still we use the idea exemplar of making uh, WHLP so we have two the first the I the introduction the development of the lesson or the discussion we have, so that is uh, the lesson is all about uh, plate movements and volcanic eruptions Then I have here the WHLP prepared contained achievable and appropriate learning outcomes that are aligned with the learning competencies as shown in any of the following lectures, discussion, rubrics. So nandyan po yung kanyang mga uh, activity, learning tasks or activity, activity sheets and performance tasks. So ayan po, dapat po naka-align sa objectives sa uh, discussion and sa assessment then another uh, WHLP from mathematics grade 5 naman still use the idea exemplar so the teacher employs variety of strategies which are appropriate in addressing the special educational needs of learners in difficult circumstances so as what I have said the teacher use uh, varied activities to provide uh, learning needs of different kinds of learners ayan po may mga annotations and suggestions yeah. the WHLP use in teaching highlight different teaching strategies that develop another critical and higher order thinking skills so yan din kasali din po. another WHLP again from mathematics grade 5 WHLP use in teaching highlighting a range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking skills as well as higher order. And the annotation WHLP prepared by the RATI with achievable and appropriate learning outcomes that are aligned with the learning competencies as shown in any of the following. So performance tasks, rubrics, assessing performance, lecture, activity sheets, and performance tasks. And another is professional engagement with colleagues. We may include socially distanced pers person online or synchronous lock session, LMD related lock chats, faculty meetings, and in service meeting sa PPSD strand web 7.3 professional links with colleagues so we have here the learning action cell teacher's personal note ayan po so resource speaker siyempre as luck leader I should serve I serve as the uh, resource speaker these are the notes taken by the teacher or by the lock member so this is the photo opportunities made during the lock session Another, as luck leader, we have to attend a series of luck session for us to elevate or enhance ourselves. 
since we are uh, lock leaders, so we must three step advance than our uh, lock members. So, kailangan po natin yan. Then, I also serve as uh, presenter during the benchmarking activities. And as resource speaker during the inset. Then the annotation, as what I have said, as luck leader, we must have to make sure that we gain the knowledge and meaningful experiences of the things to upgrade and improve our abilities and skills. This will make us knowledgeable of the different learning modalities. We need to make sure that our cup is full of knowledge so that we can give appropriate technical assistance to our luck members as what they say. We cannot teach what we doesn't have. So, dapat uh, mas lamang ang may alam. Ano po? So, we have to make sure that uh, we attended series of block sessions or seminars as well. Online or uh, synchronous. Para po may, may maisi-share po tayo sa ating mga po teachers. Another is engaging key stakeholders in the teaching learning process. Ito naman po. So, we may include conversation or parents dropping of modules. And then, may nakalagi pa rin po dyan, blur names and photos. So, yan po. So, PPST is trans communication of learners needs, progress, and achievement to key stakeholders, design selection, and utilization of assessment strategies so ayan po conversation with the parents that's another artifact we have another artifact kumustahan with the parents in order to uh, communicate with them the uh, learning needs and the learning uh, levels of their children so napakalaga po ang communication para natin makakuha tayo ng support so as as teachers we must make sure that we communicate with the parents through chat or other platforms in order to inform them about class requirements we can also engage the parents through kumustahan or one on one online sessions with them at this time of COVID-19, these are the only ways on how to communicate with them. We should therefore maximize ways in order to continuously engage them, making them sure that we are here ready to help and guide them. You can always uh, revise these annotations to give your own stories as luck leader in giving or in engaging parents in the teaching learning process another so we have the reflective summary so we have to make an essay what do you feel that this collection of work really reflects your abilities and what you have achieved this year through LDM course why or why not so ito po yung mga question so PPST, PPST strand professional reflection and improve to improve learning practice LDM to course is one of the greatest experience and, and knowledge that I have learned that I ever had Yes, even if it is very challenging to make this a success, yet this honed a lot of skills and insights that I have now. Also, both of my interpersonal and intrapersonal skills towards my colleagues and the stakeholders were improved. This made me a better leader who can deal with the challenges that arises in every day. This course also widened the horizon of opportunities to teachers like me and luck leaders as well. These experiences and learnings in the new normal gave me the wisdom 
strength and confidence to develop my LDM practicum portfolio efficiently and effectively. In this way, I can strongly prove that I did my best in teaching not only our learners but our co-teachers and LAC members as well. The MOBs that I presented in this practicum portfolio will, will prove my worth as teacher, co-teacher, and LAC leader. Ayan po. So, the annotation. There is abundant research to support the notion that teachers play the critical role in improving learners' achievement in school. What teachers do in the classroom is crucial in order to maximize teachers' competency in the four critical categories, instructional, classroom management, formative assessment, and personal competencies. We should recommend these competencies as the core for teachers' preparation and for teacher development. The further assist guide the development of competencies of the teachers in my team as LAC leader, we need to develop in them professional practice, allow them to reflect in their teaching practice and guide them to assess their own teaching, help, the, help them establish goals for professional and instructional development and maintain positive professional relationship and work with them to improve professional and instructional practice. So, ayan po. Hindi lang sa akin, syempre, sa learners, sa co-teachers as well. Uh, this LDM2 course give us a wider horizon uh, as we face the challenges of this uh, very challenging situation we had right now. The COVID-19 pandemic where uh, mobilization is very hard. We cannot do what we wanted to do, especially in the teaching learning process. We cannot help but just give our uh, instruction to uh, learners in the form of what? Text messages, uh, chats, Prepared video presentation, prepared video lesson presentation. So that's it. That's what we have experienced. So lahat po yun ay nakatulong sa atin para lumawak ang ating pangunaw at ka kaalaman na in case this will happen again, sana wag naman po at ay may mga experience tayo as what they have said. Experience is the best teacher. So, naka-experience tayo and meron po tayong history o kwento na may ibibigay sa mga susunod pang henerasyon na kung saan uh, magsisilbing gabay at aral para sa mga susunod pang mangyayari sa, uh, sa mundo. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, kundi sa buong mundo. Ayan po. Thank you very much. Never be afraid to try something new because life gets boring when you stay within the limits of what you already know. So, hindi lang po tayo dapat nasa level kung saan yung kaalaman natin kahit sinasabi natin uh, napakarami na nating alam is still uh, we have to open our cups for another uh, level or horizons of learning for us to develop not only ourselves but as leaders, our co-teachers and most especially our clientele siyempre. Sila po ang pinakamahalaga. They are the center of the teaching and learning process. Our clients, the learners. So with that, uh, thank you very much. watching and listening.